If you haven't done so yet, make sure that you pause the video and try this question on your own first before listening on. Our first step is to find the magnitude of the force that is acting on the power line. We notice that the power line is a current carrying wire, and to calculate the magnitude of force on a current carrying wire, we need four pieces of information. We're going to need the magnetic field strength B, we're going to need the current I, the length of the wire, and then the angle between the direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic field. If we look at the diagram, we can actually see that the angle between the current and the direction of the magnetic field is this angle right here, so our angle is 65 degrees. We also know the magnitude of the magnetic field. That is this value given in the problem. That's going to be our B value. We know the length of the wire is 58 meters. And then we also know the current that is going through the wire. It is given in kiloamps, so we do have to change that into amps. So we'll take the 2.2 kiloamps, and then we will recall that one kiloamp is equal to 10 to the power of three amps. And when we multiply by that conversion factor, the kiloamps cancel out, and we end up with 2200 amps. That is the value of the current, and with the other stated values, we can go ahead and plug in. And after punching that into our calculator, making sure that it is set to degree mode, we end up with approximately 5.8 newtons. This is the magnitude of the force acting on the power line. That's the correct answer to the first part of the question. But we also need the direction of this magnetic force that is acting on that current carrying power line. So to find the direction, we're going to apply a right-hand rule. So let's go ahead and set that up. So here is a diagram depicting the right hand rule and when you use the right hand rule you want to make sure that you extend your four fingers in the direction of the magnetic field and you want to extend your thumb in the direction of the current and when you do so your palm will be naturally facing in the direction of the magnetic field so excuse me of the magnetic force so your palm again should be facing in the direction of the magnetic force now if you look carefully our palm would naturally be facing into the page here it's a bit challenging to draw that but perhaps we can draw a dashed line to show us that the magnetic force is directed into the page and that is going to be the correct answer for the direction of the magnetic force it is indeed into the page Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I'd greatly appreciate it. But of course, please don't feel obligated to do so.